in this day and hour when truth does not seem to be prevailing in this land or in the thing calling itself the church we need to take the time to see what the word of god has to say about the importance of the truth it is written that jesus said to pilate thou sayest that i am a king to this end was i born and for this cause came i into the world that i should bear witness unto the truth every one that is of the truth heareth my voice so many today claim to belong to christ but by their works they deny him does truth matter to you more importantly do you love the truth above all things that this world has to offer it is written jesus saith unto him i am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me jesus said when he putteth forth his own sheep he goeth before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice and a stranger will they not follow but will flee from him for they know not the voice of strangers so it's abundantly clear that the Lord's sheep know and hear his voice and follow it they don't get themselves caught up with false teachers and prophets well not for long anyway because they recognize them to be not of the Lord but strangers to the truth again Jesus said my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me if you truly love Jesus Christ then you will love his truth and you will hunger and thirst after it you will value it above all things you will desire nothing but his truth only his truth will satisfy your soul you will hear his voice and none other so many are in bondage to the lies told them by false teachers preachers and prophets today that the voice of the bride and the bridegroom are barely audible in this hour and the lights of many a christian have gone out to me it speaks of this in revelation as it is written and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee although this can be understood to be speaking of daily social goings on in life in general it also speaks to me of the voice of the elect the bride those who share the truth of the gospel those unafraid of men who only seek approval of god and to bring glory and praise to him and the voice of the groom is the holy spirit in us and the candle well is it not written jesus said ye are the salt of the earth but if the salt have lost his savour wherewith shall it be salted it is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men ye are the light of the world a city that is set on an hill cannot be hid neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven the voice of truth is being muted in this hour because it is being cut off by false teachers preaching false doctrine and because of the itching ears of sheep who have no desire for the truth who run to those who will tell them what they want to hear the truth is also being silenced by liberal people-pleasing lukewarm so-called Christians who are compromising the truth to please the world and not be seen as unloving 
In the process, they are unaware that they are leading souls to hell. It is written, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Then the scribes and the Pharisees in attendance had this to say. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Is this not like witnessing to a Roman Catholic or one who has been seduced by a wolf and is secure in their false teaching? One who becomes indignant when their salvation is called into question? Or one who becomes indignant when their religious practices are questioned? To continue, Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house for ever, but the son abideth ever. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. Is this not what some do when they seek to silence the truth of Christ? They seek to kill him, to crucify him afresh, by their blatant ignoring of the truth? Jesus said to them, I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered him and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham, ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then the scribes and Pharisees went on to accuse Jesus of having a devil, being demon-possessed. He told them they were all liars and did not even know God. He then told them he was the I Am, and they picked up stones to stone him. This is how the religious liars of today are. They take exception to those who dare speak out against them and those who refuse to accept their false doctrine. On YouTube, they have videos taken down in an effort to hide the truth of their wickedness. For it is written, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and to every good work reprobate. So many Christians in the public eye are coming out 
in favour of homosexuals and lesbians marrying one another in direct opposition to the truth. They do this to be seen as loving, and they think Jesus would do the same. They are deceived. It is written concerning those who desire to be accepted of men, for they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God.